I saw a girl with blue hair the other day. I walked by her. She was beautiful and ugly. Her face was pale, almost ghostly. She looked kind of goth. Her makeup was drawn on harshly. She looked almost deathly, but she was laughing and smiling and talking with her friend. She was pulling cheese off a hamburger and eating it with her hands. Even though she looked deathly, she seemed alive. More alive than me with my shiny tresses and nicely groomed brows. I felt how she looked. I created this whole idea of her in less than 30 seconds and I was sure it was true. Do I need blue hair? Do I need to be cheese? I wondered. Seeing her for just that moment got me thinking about living, dying, living a half-life, how I perceive death, how to find beauty in all things. All this in the glimpse of a girl with blue hair. I also started thinking about my dreams. Recently, I've been dreaming a lot about dead things, dead animals, dead family members, dead friend. I just can't seem to find the beauty in my dead friend. I can't. To find the beauty in his life lived, yes. But in his death, why? What's so fucking beautiful about that? I also started thinking about a road trip I took a couple years ago with my boyfriend. At first he was going alone. The day I went to say goodbye to him, he asked me. Why aren't you coming? Why wasn't I going? I'll go. An hour later, we were off. One reason I wanted to go was to shoot pictures. Spoons, precisely. I started shooting spoons here in LA. I find them to be an interesting subject. At first, it was just the sheer design and simplicity of the object itself. Then I came to realize that spoons represent life in a way. You feed babies with spoons. You eat soup with a spoon. I think one can survive on soup. I love soup. A heroin addict will often use a spoon to sustain life in some way, et cetera, et cetera. Spoons. My goal was to stop at diners across America. I would ask the waitress for four or five spoons. She would look at me funny, but fill my request. I would shoot them in all their glory. And when I was done, I would ask to keep one. I'd always ask to keep one, except this one time when I had to steal one. I mean, I shot them, so they're kind of mine, you know? My boyfriend wanted to shoot roadkill. There's quite a lot of roadkill crossing 14 states. Birds, squirrels, deer. I think we saw a pig. I really think it was a pig, unless it was a really fat cat. We must have pulled over on the side of the road at least 50 times. Each time, I would look through the rearview mirror and wince. I would try to be supportive. I started to spot the roadkill before he would. I would actually look for it. Look, baby, there's another squirrel. But truthfully, at the time, I could not find the fascination that was so completely consuming him. The beauty, he said, in these dead things. On the trip back, he wanted to shoot broken down barns. He was a real cheerful guy. We stopped at this abandoned barn in Colorado. It was a beautiful day. The sky was blue, blue. We each went off in separate directions, exploring different areas of the barn, when suddenly I came upon a golden treasure, the leg of a cow detached from the rotting carcass that was over in the corner. He's gonna be so pleased. Hey, guess what I found? A leg from a cow. It's detached. You didn't move it, did you? What? Don't move it. What? Like I'm gonna touch it. He rushed by me, completely mesmerized. He then proceeded to pick up the leg, positioning it carefully in the light. He shot it with such care. We were collecting souvenirs along the way, but I had to draw the line here. Uh, no. But it's frozen. I don't care if it's frozen. It's not coming with us. We already have the wing of an owl in the back seat, okay? Yeah. No. No. The trip back was fun. We sang, danced, wrote bad poems. I looked up at the stars at night, saw the most beautiful sunset in Iowa. I hated Iowa. We got in a fight in Iowa, but the sunset was really great. On our way through Texas, I was thinking how sweet life is when you're driving through it and how great music lends itself perfectly for effect. Until the blue. 
always the inevitable blue. You know when you're rocking out and you hear these sounds that at first you think are part of the song, but then it turns out that they're sirens? Yeah, doing 95 through Texas? Bad idea. Boyfriend was about to be awarded his third ticket on this trip. He was happy. Fuck! License and registration? Well, what's the problem, officer? 95 is the problem. License and registration. Now. So, you all from, uh, California? What you doing in Texas? Just on our way back from visiting family. And shooting dead things. I'm sorry, what? <laughs> Nothing, officer. So, uh, what you do out there in California? Are you kidding? Who gives a fuck? Uh, I'm a graphic artist. And I'm a school teacher by day and a dominatrix by night. My boyfriend snarled at me. But all I kept thinking was, what is this fucking cop doing interrupting my time with the fucking sky? And why does he give a shit about what we do in California? What is that? Oh, that's sage, sir. Yeah, it's dried sage. It's to make the car smell good. You want to smell it? No, I do not. You two been drinking? No, sir. And we hadn't. Uh-huh. Step out of the car. Well, but, officer, I... Step I... out of the car now. You too, Missy. Whatever. He proceeded to give us both sobriety tests. Boyfriend passed. I, however, was feeling a little high on something. I'm not even driving. Ooh. <gasps> oh, ah, oh, fuck. Must have been the stage. <laughs> Put my finger where? <laughs> what you mean you've been shooting dead things? Pictures. Officer, she was just joking. Both of you in the car now. But officer, shut up! Get in the car, both of you, now. Hustle up. Suddenly, we're both sitting in the back of this cop car. Absurd. Seriously? Are we gonna be arrested for taking pictures of roadkill and driving around with herbs on our dashboard? I'm watching this cop talk on his radio. I wondered if the warrant for my arrest because of unpaid parking tickets was gonna show up. I really didn't wanna go to jail. Not tonight. It was just starting to have fun. I just stared at the blue light as it was reflecting off the car onto this asshole cop. Why does something always have to come along and spoil the fun? Why does something always have to come along and spoil the fun? Just then, boyfriend started saying something to me. I was losing focus. His lips were moving, but I couldn't hear a word. I think he said something like, what is wrong with you? I blinked my eyes and then suddenly I looked down and I had this gun in my hand like the one this cop wore on his hip with so much pride like it extended from his cock. I looked at boyfriend, his eyes were wide. Then, without even knowing how it happened, Michael James I'm out of the car pointing this gun. On your knees, you fat fucker, I'll blow your whoa, whoa, fucking whoa, whoa. head off. How do you like that, huh? Easy, easy. How do you like that? What, what, whatever you want. Oh yeah, you goddamn right, whatever I want. I never held a gun before. I was surprised at how heavy it was. Vanilla. Chocolate or vanilla? Uh, vanilla. Clint Eastwood or John Wayne? John Wayne. 
George or Ringo. Ringo. I gotta blow your fucking head off for that right now. Okay. Live or die. Please, Do I you want to live or die? Please. There ain't no in between. <laughs> you can walk that line. But for how long, really? How long can you take that trip? How long? How long? He just stared at me, frozen, like he was already dead. He was already dead. The light shifted. He was already dead. We got back to the car, back to the sky and we drove off. When we got back to LA, I had the film processed. Dead bird, dead squirrel, spoon, spoon, dead deer, spoon, dead something, spoon, spoon. The spoon seemed kind of static. Oddly, there was a sense of beauty in the dead things. I was shooting pictures at my friend's house the other day. Lonin. I saw this plant in his yard. It was beautiful, but it looked like it was dying. The center of it was still alive, green, but the ends were drying out and turning brown. Is this dead? You gotta dig it up? No, it just needs a little water. I don't know, it's right on the edge. It'll be fine. The parts that have died are as beautiful as the parts that are living. It's beautiful. 